So I got a question about which Chris Wall I'm, I'm using in my video, Whistling in the Dark, and that is this one. Uh, this is an earlier, it's, I've had it a while, um, it's kind of a prototype whistle that he was working on, and he said that he developed it because I had some specific breath requirements. I like to blow a little bit harder, uh, and so he kind of worked, tweaked his design, and gave me this one, and I really like it. Uh, and But I also have a second one that he gave me, and I think this one may be more uh, close to his current design. This is the one with the brass tuning slide, and the main differences that I noticed between these two is this one is sweeter. Uh, it's less, it's like he cut the breathiness, a little bit of the breathiness out of it. Um, so it's very chirpy, uh, whereas this one has a, a bit more of a windy, mellow sound to it. Uh, and I kind of go back and forth as to which one I like better. Uh, I think I tend to play this one a little bit more uh, because I kind of like a little bit of extra breathiness, but and then I play this one and I like the, I like the chirpiness too, so they're, they're, I like both of them, um, I'll play both of them side by side, and you can see <clears throat> the sound, so this is the original one, this is the one that I'm playing in the, in the, uh, uh, in the tunnel where you can't see anything, because I didn't have a light or anything, so. So this one, um, the cross fingering is actually a little bit different. So on this one, I like it uh, to to do the cross fingering C, C natural like this, and and this one, it's actually a little, it sounds a little too flat to me. So uh, I just go with the two fingers on this one. So that's an interesting. So I, I believe these were made about two years apart, or not two years apart, um, about a year apart from one another. And Chris did a lot of, of tweaking and, and experimentation in the meantime. And so I'm not exactly sure where he is in his process at the moment, 
uh, but that's that's the difference between my whistles. So I like this one. Like I said, I was as I was playing, I really like the sound of this one. It's been a while since I've played it. Um, but I said this is the one that this is one that I keep in my car a lot. So um, I said, and that's kind of how it is with with most of my whistles. There, there's whistles that I really like at times, and then I set them down and I'm playing for a while, and then when I pick them up again. Uh, then I, I I appreciate them all over again. So that's kind of how I feel about Chris's whistles, depending on how I play. And I think maybe you know sometimes it takes a while to settle into a, a whistle. Like learning to some whistles don't appreciate as much breath as other whistles, and so they can sound really rough until you you kind of settle into to um, remembering that, that oh this one doesn't take quite as much breath as the other ones. And once you kind of pull back a little bit. Then, then it settles down and it, it, it sounds a lot better. So, anyway, hope that's helpful.